What's up guys and welcome back. I'm super excited to let you know that I've partnered up with Samsung to create this video that you're gonna see today. It was actually a pleasure shooting with the Galaxy Note 9 because of the features that come with this phone. Such as the Pro Mode, which allows you to choose your ISO, your aperture, and even your shutter speed. So we've combined some of the features using the Pro Mode as well as the Hyperlapse, which gives you really cool time lapses, and uh, the Super Slow Motion. And here's what we came up with. It was a nice change to get out there and shoot without having to lug around heavy equipment. So it was a nice change of pace. And as you can see, the quality of the footage that came out of it is really impressive. He's holding his card. No? No, you're not holding. He's holding your card. But I didn't stop there. I didn't want to just give you guys a few minutes of insane B-roll, uh, but I also wanted to show you a magic trick that you guys can perform at home. Here's what that trick looks like. something I came up with a few years ago which allows you to change uh, the back or the face of a playing card multiple times. So this is great for something you can post on social media. It literally looks like a camera trick but I guarantee you it isn't and we're gonna dive into how this is done right now. All right guys hope you enjoyed that intro. Um, as I said it was actually a pleasure shooting because of the features that come with this phone. It acts as a real camera so if you're into videography or photography or anything else, this is an actual camera that you can go out and shoot with. So very cool for that. All right guys, so now I'm gonna teach you uh, this trick. So this trick is a very cool visual trick. I, I performed this a few years ago. You might've seen it on my Instagram. And today I'm gonna reveal and show you guys how you can do this at home now. It is to be noted that this uh, particular trick, although can work in the real world, absolutely. And you don't have to use playing cards. You can use objects if you like. I personally like using this trick for camera. So setting up your phone here with a top-down setup, this is a great little visual that you guys can use to post to your own social media and play around with your own playing cards. Obviously, I'm using the back design. You could have used the faces. You could do whatever you like. I'm just going to teach you the technique and how, uh, how I came up with this. So super, super simple. You're going to need three magnets. So that's one, two, and three. So very, very basic. Again, you can do this with one card, two cards, three cards, four cards. You can have them change... Uh, up to three times so one two and then three obviously the more cards that you add the more difficult it's going to be because the cards are going to want to miss a line every time you take one off so it will take you a few takes took me about five takes to get the proper take which isn't so bad basically this is the setup so you're going to want to take a magnet and strap it to the back of the phone now these magnets are very thin and they're not very strong i don't encourage you to use very very strong magnets when putting them on your phone but use a very very thin magnet you can find them online then you have to figure out the orientation of the magnet so i like to put it about here so that the first card is going to hold right about there. So you're gonna lay the top card of whatever you're going to do, you're gonna lay that face, like face up on the back of this phone and you're going to stick your magnet there and make sure that the polarity of the magnet is attracted to the other one. Then you're simply gonna take some scotch tape and tape that down. You're also going to do that with another card, but this time you want that magnet to be at a different spot. So choose uh, choose a spot that allows the card to still be hidden by the phone, but that's not the same spot as this one because you don't want them being picked up at the exact same time. 
So something like that should be fine. And the final card you're going to reveal obviously has no magnet and that can be shown as, uh, as, as clean. So that is your initial setup. Pretty simple, nothing complex, which is how I like to perform magic. The next step you're going to do is also very simple. You're going to have to take a few pictures with your phone. You're gonna to wanna to start with the last card first because in the camera roll, as you swipe through, uh, it's going to show as the last card. So you wanna start with the last card first. So go ahead and take a picture. And once that's done, you wanna take the next card and try to get the exact same frame size and exactly where it would be positioned. And you wanna take that, and that's it. And now you're done. So at this point, we can go ahead and once we're ready to open the camera, we're already going to have those pictures on file. So the setup is as follows. I want the red one on top and I want this one here and I want this one here. And so the first magnet is going to be on the bottom. Now, when I started this video, you see me cleanly drop these cards down and they don't fall apart just like that, which is really nice. That might take some practice. Uh, you can try it a few times. Sometimes they will split. And in which case you just do it again, keep recording. And once you get that perfect fall down, that's when you're going to start your trick. So there we go. We're good. They're not split. I'm going to open my camera. And now you're going to hold it in such a fashion where it allows you to swipe, okay? You wanna take one picture about the same distance you took a picture of the other ones. And if, if you're worried about this showing up, uh, you can also just keep your finger there. If you're filming it top down, it's not too bad. You can keep your finger there, take a picture. Now, when you look back, that card is going to be there so it's not flashing the other card. You're gonna go into that camera roll and uh, you're going to basically bring this over and hover it over. Now, uh, because it's the bottom one, I wanna start from the bottom and you're going to, you're gonna hear it stick to that, okay? Once it's stuck to that, obviously we're on the next card and now as you see, they've split. So I'd probably have to restart this shooting process again, but for the sake of teaching you, I'm just going to run through it. So boom, that first card is gone. So you wanna swipe showing this one so now once that's done, you can go on top of here and you wanna swipe again, showing that one, put the phone down and you can turn over this card. Obviously the back of here, this is very dirty and not clean. You'll not wanna show the back of that. You wanna make sure as well that that doesn't happen when you set your phone down. You want that to be nice and square because if you do this, uh, they're gonna see that and you're gonna to have to wanna to restart shooting. So if ever you didn't get that take on the first try, super simple. Basically, you go back into your photos and you delete the first one you took. Delete, back, back, and we start again. So let's try this one more time. We're here, you can even show that card if you like, drop them down, make sure they're not split. Open up the camera. Uh, we wanna hide that little thumbnail here, so we're going to do this, and we're going to take a quick snap let that feed into the pictures. Show this here. As that comes up here, you wanna swipe, you wanna show the next one. Again, not lined up. So at this point, we would have to restart. I would go back and delete this photo and start again. It is a bit time consuming, but the way I see it is when you're posting something to social media, you have all the time in the world to make something look good, especially magic. You might as well take your time with it. So again, we're going to start off here, put that down. Oh, it's split. There we go. Open the camera. We're going to take a picture, open up the camera roll, have a look at this card, say, no, you know what? This card won't do. Let's, uh, let's use a different card. Let's use this one. And you know what? That card actually won't do either. Oops, and you wanna go the other way, obviously, and then show that card, and then you are completely done and clean on this card, and you just put this back in your pocket. And thank you again to Samsung for partnering with me on this video. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me tell you, it was fun to get out there and challenge myself using something that I'm not necessarily super comfortable with uh, and getting to know a different technique. I thought that really took me outside of my box and made me and forced me to be creative 
which is amazing. Also, I hope you like that tutorial on the card trick using the phone. It's something you guys can uh, use whenever you like. Feel free to play around with it and uh, maybe, maybe come up with your own versions of the trick. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you on the next one.